Hello everyone, this is the Vader Man, and I am back once again, and I have put off several, many reviews in the last few weeks, because one, I've been stocking up on things, and two, I really just haven't had the time, which is a bet, a bit of a shame, really, but moving on past that, we're, today we're going to be talking about the First Order Stormtrooper in all of its glory, and in all of its many, 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 many problems, because yes, it has quite a few for an army builder. <laughs> Come on, Hasbro, you get one chance to get these army builders out and not nudge the camera. you got to get them right the first time. But before I get into too much complaining, let's talk about the packaging as ever. It's your standard 3 and 3 quarter inch black series packaging, no number on the side. you got your faded out picture of the First Order Stormy down there. I'm really just kind of boring, so away with you to the corner with the filth. Okay, let's talk about the First Order Stormtrooper. He is the definition of a mixed bag figure. It has so much going for it and so much going against it, it's really kind of a hard thing to judge. So let's start judging it, of course, with the accessories he comes with. He comes with two. He comes with your standard, I believe they're called what? They're, they're not E11s anymore, which is really annoying because I keep wanting to call them E11s, but they're not they're like F12s or something stupid like that. Yes, it is a little sawed off kind of in the back blaster that the Stormtroopers use in the new movie. Why is it part white? I haven't the slightest clue, but you know, oh well, I guess. It's finely detailed enough, and of course your new Stormtrooper pistols. Tiny little things, look at that. But well detailed nonetheless, and both do clip on to the holster, holster on his side here. I'm leaning over a camera to do this, is not the best of ideas. Come on, I believe, there you go. The little cartridge right in there. And it does hold on rather well, it's not going to fall off unless you bump it. Like I often do. So now let's talk about, well, my first major gripe with this guy that everyone has pointed out, so I'm going to as well. Look at the helmet. Look at it. Yes, there we are. The, the paint's very, very wrong, and he, he's having a hard time standing. I'll just hold him. The paint is very, very wrong. As you can see up there, there's a... That's not a great example. As you can see up there, that's also not a great example. There is a gap. That's the best example. Look at that. That is supposed to be a solid black line, and it's not. Also, the eyes aren't connected, and they should be, which is extremely irritating. It looks like he's supposed to have a pair of sunglasses on, and it doesn't. From this angle, it looks right. From this one, it obviously doesn't. And Hasbro hasn't made any note of it, or tried to recall it, or tried to do a running change. They just decided, ah, fuck it, these imbeciles will buy it. And I did! So, look at that. Um, side note, if anyone knows what kind of paint to use to fix these guys, um, gladly just put it in the comments, because I've had no luck being able to find it out from um, customizers, so I would really like the um, help on that one, because I will be painting all of these guys, all five of them, yes, I bought five of them, and every single one has the problem. Yes, they all seem to have that paint problem. Like I said, they haven't decided to do a running change on this guy, and it's the most irritating thing since ever. Because, of course, they are army builders, and every collector or and kid who wants to have an army of stormtroopers is going to be buying them by the ass load. So, you know, you're only going to find a few, and, you know, even if they did have the right paint, it's not great to begin with, and it's not a hard thing to screw up. You know, black on white sounds rather easy, but unfortunately, you know, you get one, you know, glop of paint somewhere on a white action figure when the other paint is black, it's going to be extremely noticeable. Example. Anyway. Yes, I bought five of them. Don't laugh at me. And 13 bucks a pop, five is quite a bit. Trust me. Anyway, let's get on to my other major problem with these guys. That being the elbow joints. Yes, a common problem with Star Wars action figures for some reason nowadays. I'm going to bend his elbows as far as they can bend up. I mean, you know, we don't need a crazy bend any other way. But anyway, you'll see what I mean once I stop fiddling around with this. There we go. Hey, no, I'm not going to do that. Look how far his elbows bend up. That's literally nothing. You can't get him in a good pose. I have here a regular Stormtrooper for comparison. Look at that. Look how nice, look how high of a bend you can get on those. You can get that. You can even get him in a solid shooting pose. Like shooting up, not at the hip like all Stormtroopers. Screw it. Anyway, my point is you can get him in a very good pose. This guy, you cannot get him in a good shooting pose. In fact, that's the best you're really going to get out of them, which is really annoying, because I wanted them to look cool, damn it. Uh, oh well, I guess. But other than that, there aren't really too many problems. I'll go over articulation briefly. He has a ball-jointed neck, ball-hinged shoulders and elbows and wrists, a ball-jointed torso, ball-jointed hips, ball-hinged knees and ankles. So articulation is a premium on this guy, except his elbows are just really, really annoying. He just needed a bit of a deeper cut on that one, which is you know, just the reality of the situation, but a sad one at that. 
So, these are all Walmart exclusives. They are all $12.93 in some areas. In some areas, they're quite more, which is really, really irritating. Because I wanted to buy hundreds of these guys, and obviously that's not going to be possible with a $3 price hike. Ugh, God damn it, Hasbro. See, don't give it to Walmart. They're evil. Let's get him in there for a brief comparison, for pointless comparisons. He's a bit bulkier than your standard Stormtrooper, which I'm okay with, and a bit taller for some reason. Probably because they're recruits and not clones. I know they're not clones. I'm not that dumb. I'm just trying to piss off fanboys. So there we are. First order Stormtrooper, regular Stormtrooper. This is the better figure. Don't tell anyone. Anyway, enough of this. I have like 30 more reviews to shoot in a matter of like an hour, and I'm really not looking forward to it.